man. I, I swear to you, I'm not lying. I'm not, well, I'm, okay, I'm lying a little bit, but I'm a producer. That's what I do. And I will have your money in full, I promise you. You got 72 hours. After that, I choke you to death. Come on, I'm not an idiot. You haven't painted the most accurate portrait of our investor. All right! We've been in trouble before. We always find a way out. It's all over the street. You need money. Why don't you guys come by the set? Frank Pierce is going to be there. Excuse me, Mr. Pierce. I'm so sorry to bother you. Can I get your autograph? Frank Pierce was insured for $5 million. This scumbag, he doesn't shoot a frame of film and he makes $5 million. Well, how would you have felt if all you had to show for it was a lousy insurance check? Look, I got a scam. What do you mean a scam? We make it look like we're actually going to be putting together a movie. We heavily insured a star who'll do his own stunts. <laughs> You're Duke Montana? Yeah, that's Duke Montana. What are you doing, Duke Montana? Come on, Daily Game. Russian roulette. You are perfect for this particular part. I really connected to the story. Uh -huh. Yeah, but Duke is like a Western, you know? It's very masculine. <laughs> Congratulations. Kill him in a stunt, he's dead. And then we're rich. We're rich. Action! Duke Montana, if he were alive right now, I know he would be saying, Where's that damn horse at? Duke, my, my God, you're alive. You don't know this guy. He's got like nine lives. It's not that hard to kill somebody. We're shooting this fantastic roper scene. It's going to be a real killer. If it wasn't for you, I'd be six foot under up on Booth Hill right now. Uh huh. I'm going to let you down. These people are ready to die for you. That's the best choice of words. <laughs> we in the business. <laughs> what kind of a human being are you? Well, I'm a producer. <laughs> How is it a guy making a million dollar movie don't have a better car? I don't believe in ostentatious flamboyance. What are you stupid? No. Hi. Sarah, I am expecting to see some pages by the end of the week. You hear me? Uh, yeah, I know, I know. I am just working here. Are you fake typing? No. Shall we discuss your deadline? No! Anything but that. God, I wish I could return that stupid advance. Not stupid. It's amazing. Especially considering the fact that nobody reads anymore! What about right now? What if we just lived right now? Who is this guy? I don't know. Looks like Austin Powers. Look, look. Chimney sweep. Come on. Excuse me. Aren't you at the Wanky Gallery in Fremont? I truly think you have me mistaken for somebody else. Who the hell are you? What's this guy's name anyway? You know what? I don't know. I brought you here for a reason. I got a feeling about you. You're mistaking crazy for interesting. You're a complete original. He's not one person, he's like many different people. What is that? He is the company's top sales performer for three straight years. That, you can tell that he's breaking about eight different dress code policies. Is he ever himself? Have I actually even met the guy? I need to know who I'm with. I'm so confused. Like, who have I been hanging out with this whole time? I'm ready to live. I'm ready to love. I was kind of in a funk. Couldn't access my creativity. It's our time to live our life. And then I met you, and that all went away. If you reduce the world down, we're all just one big organism. What we do has an effect on others. Who are you? You know I am a good friend, and friends tell each other the truth even when it sucks. Yeah, well, this lunch sucks. The, the food is very good, but the food this, is very this good. This sucks. Surprise! Turning 
30. Does it feel different? Like, I guess I hit all the marks I'm supposed to hit in my 20s. Married, employed. I'm probably not going to die poor and lonely. So yeah, I'm doing great. Yeah, but I didn't ask if you were doing great. I asked if you felt different. We're solid. We're solid, right? Hey, guys. We're dating. Like how? Who does what with who and what goes in? Don, we just don't want to see you guys throw away what you have. We've never been happier. We're all in this relationship, but you two are still in your own relationship. To us. Us. I just want a normal relationship. No, you don't. Otherwise, you would have one. What's a normal relationship anyway? I'm never sure of anything. I'm still not sure about this. It's not about being sure or unsure. Maybe it's just about being brave. Look at you, my beauties. You are beautiful. You are beautiful. But you're the best. This is the one we've all been waiting for, folks. The Calvin Horn Ram judging. Fine Ram, all right. He's gonna be a busy boy, I reckon. What do you mean? Okay, the Grimerson brothers find themselves the last two standing yet again. And Les Grimerson is the winner. You little ripper! Oh, come on, Cole, cheer up. Right up. You two haven't spoken in 40 years. Why start now? Les is Ram. He's sick. Farmers have been shocked by the discovery of a highly infectious disease. They're mine. Don't take it, mate. A control plan has been put in place in the hope of containing the outbreak. You gotta follow the rules. No kidding. Hey. Oh, my lovely girls. Ah. <laughs> Smells like sheep. No sheep. A lot of air freshener, though. I know what you got in your house. You kept up. I had to. You what? We find those sheep. He is done. Superheroes stand watch when danger closes in and save those in need. But they have one thing in common. They never show up in the real world. Until Ulysses. Every superhero comes to us with a purpose. We don't always see it at first. Because we don't always know where to look. Flora! What is this? I am Ulysses, born anew. Holy unanticipated occurrences! Did you type this? He's a superhero. But Do you have any enemies? I'm here about the squirrel. Danger lurks everywhere. <laughs> He's flying. There was a change in the air. And the world was filling with excitement. Who's hungry? One now! Come on! You guys guys! People look to the skies for someone to save them. So the universe sent us... Ulysses. Can you talk?
talk? Okay, that's not really talking, but still! Girls are tied to beds for two reasons. Sex and exorcisms. Mm. So which was it with you? <laughs> My feminism is about blazing a new way through old traditions. <laughs> Owning our bodies. So, what do you do? I'm a writer. But I, I, I'm trying to nail the work-life balance, or more like the work-party balance. Tim. Laura. Sooner or later, the party has to end. Why? Why? Because you get left behind and you become a tragedy. Tragedy plus time equals comedy. See him, other lovers, and right, and party, and still be free. You know, none of this changes our friendship. I need to start taking things seriously. Wait, do you hear that? It's the non-sound of the suburbs. They sell it as peace. But really, it's just death closing in. His mouth, his composure, his steady, loving gaze. In some moments, I wanted to be owned by him. Owned? What, what is this? Who are you? One day, you're gonna wake up 45, and you're not gonna know how. What's it about? It's about a spider caught in its own web, and a woman who rescues it. Seems to be the trouble, old chap. I've been commissioned to adapt my novel for the screen. But the words have dried up. I need divine intervention. Mesdames et messieurs, bonsoir. Tonight, I will use my precious mystical gift. Ah! 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 I've got it! I'd like you to conduct a seance at my home. This Thursday. The moon is full and we must harness its power. Perfect. But oh, Penelope Card is a fraud. You said so yourself. It'll be superb inspiration for my new screenplay. Is anybody there? Oh, is that you, Maya? My spirit guide. She was Tutankhamun's wet nurse. I do hope she's not still lactating. <laughs> is there anyone on the other side that you think of? Elvira, his dead ex-wife. I shall have to go into a trance. <laughs> Hello? You're dead. The ghost of my first wife is here with us in the room. Surely you can see her. She's standing right next to you. Are you drunk? Who's she? My wife. I'm your wife. Not anymore. Can he by any chance touch her? I sincerely hope not. It's not a coincidence that you haven't published a word since my demise. Finish the first act in my screenplay. Elvira, help me. She's dangerous, Charles. You're the one I love. I haven't the foggiest idea how to send her back. You're in trouble now. <gasps> the true love. True love never dies. Something must have gone hideously wrong. <gasps> Not for the first time. Oh, something took place. I can feel it in my base chakra. Probably trapped wind. Every hero has an origin story, but not a full mustache at age 15. It's The Rock's true life story. What's your name again? Tomas. Why'd you say your name was Tomas? Because it sounds way cooler than Dwayne. From then to now, things change just like that. 
When you dream big, the sky's the limit. I'll have your finest tequila. No. no. Fine, I'll have a vodka martini. No. no. Young Rock, February 16th on NBC. Welcome back to the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Savannah, here comes the newest addition. It's a young Dwayne The Rock Johnson circa 1990. This balloon celebrates NBC's new comedy, Young Rock, which follows the wild times of Dwayne as a kid, a teen, and a college footballer. Oda, I can't <laughs> wait to see what kind of trouble little DJ got into. <laughs> Hard to imagine this guy was ever little. The fanny pack alone is filled with 50,000 cubic feet of helium. Incredible. And just like that, 